Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new Surface Pen, which was released in June 2017. This is a significantly updated and improved version of the original Surface Pen, and it's now available in four new colors from the burgundy, black, platinum, and also cobalt blue. I'm going to be unboxing the platinum model today. I'm going to take a look at how it performs with a number of software applications, including Sketchable, which is a free sketching application you can download from the Windows Store. I'm also gonna try it out on Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop, and also some markup on some web pages and Word documents. So that's gonna be interesting to see how it performs. In terms of what's changed with the brand new Surface Pen, it now includes much greater sensitivity. It, it boasts up to 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity, which gives you more control over the width of your lines and also the intensity, which is gonna be well suited to artists and illustrators. It also has lower latency, which makes it feel more lifelike and realistic as though you're really writing with a pen or a pencil. It also now supports tilt detection, which once again is going to make it very well suited to artists and illustrators. Let's unbox it and take a look at what you get inside. In terms of the packaging, it's pretty much what you expect from Microsoft products. Very similar to the Surface Pro range, matte, white or steer packaging. As I open it up and take the pen out, it feels very lightweight. It's about 30 grams, very similar weight to the previous pen. Underneath it is the instruction manual and the warranty form. Not that you really need an instruction manual for this pen. Everything is very straightforward. It comes with a quadruple A battery and this is purported to have a lifespan of about one year before it needs replacing, depending on how much you use your Surface Pen. It kind of surprised me as I expected it may have been a rechargeable battery, but it's not the case. It's a perishable quadruple A battery, which you can purchase online for about $5 when you need to replace it. The other thing to point out in terms of the appearance of the pen, it has a slightly refined shape compared to the previous model, and it has two buttons, one on the side and one on the top. And the other thing about it, it has a really strong magnet which allows it to attach on either side of your surface. So they've really improved the connectivity of the pen to the Surface Pro on this new model. So let's go ahead and check out how it performs. Okay, I'll just slide the surface into view. Now to start using the pen, you simply tap on the button on top of the pen and that will open up your Windows Ink workspace. And in that workspace, you can choose notes, sketches application and also you can mark up on the screen. Now I'm going to demonstrate the pen's sketching capability using an app called Sketchable. This is a free download but you do need to upgrade it if you want to get access to all of its advanced features and that costs about $24 or thereabouts. Now I'm going to run a couple of basic tests using the pencil and uh, I'm just gonna do some standard shapes here. And what you'll notice now is that as I tilt the pen, I have a different width and pressure sensitivity on my line. So this is really great for illustrators that wanna be able to create complex sketches or diagrams seamlessly with just one or two gestures by tilting the pen. So really nice and easy to use. And as you can see, there's no latency. Everything happens in real time, which is a slight improvement over the previous model, which had a bit of lag and a bit of delay. So it really performs well in an app like this. But as I mentioned, to get full access to the capabilities of this type of app, you do need to download the upgraded version. Now let's have a look at how it performs in Illustrator. I've just created a few basic shapes here and I'm just using the line tool in this example to draw a few lines. And once again, everything happens in real time and there's no delay. So in Illustrator, I use it in a very basic manner just to create basic shapes and lines and uh, you know it really does the job as I would expect in this type of application. Certainly for those illustrators out there, they'll be taking much more advantage of all of the advanced features that Illustrator has to offer. And one of the main reasons I purchased the Surface Pen as a photographer and a digital media artist was its ability to create cutouts. Now I'm using the magnetic lasso tool here and as you can see, the Surface Pen is allowing me to select my cutout really 
easily, much easier than using a mouse. And it's one of the main reasons I wanted to get the surface and have this pen to do this particular task. And it's handling it really well. It's cutting around the edges seamlessly, intuitively, and not making any mistakes whatsoever. And by the way, I'm speeding this up. I would normally take a little bit more time to be more accurate in a final production version, but just for this demonstration purpose, I'm really speeding through it. And nonetheless, it's uh, created a really perfect outline for me, which I'm going to be able to now copy and paste into another image. So I'm going to take this subject matter and drop it into a second photo and have it appear as though it was there in the first place. All done with this Surface Pen very easily and very intuitively. So very impressed with the way it handles cutouts in Photoshop. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. Also, as I mentioned previously, I've left a link to the other videos I've created on the Microsoft Surface Pro in the comments box below. So feel free to go and check out those videos also. Thanks again, see you on the next video. Bye for now.